what's up and welcome back to another video my name is Barbie and if you are new here please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below today I thought it would be such a fun idea to do another crystal collection video so my favorite thing to collect is skulls so I have gotten my hands on a few super amazing Skulls. I will give you guys a sneak peek at what is in my current collection. Here is a sneak peek of all the crystal skulls I currently have in my collection. There are some amazing skulls here and some of them you guys have probably seen before but some of them you have definitely not seen as I have not shown them ever. So if you guys want to see which skulls I have in my crystal collection stay tuned and let's get on into the video. Okay, so for the first skull, I'm gonna start with the smallest skull that I have. Let's go from small to big, just for fun. So the first skull that I have is a little baby ocean jasper skull, and it is adorable. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. So I really love this one because it kind of looks like moss agate but it has green on it and purple, which I think purple is super beautiful in Ocean Jasper. So this little guy is a teeny tiny little skull. I believe this skull is only one inch and I think it's so crazy that they can carve a little baby skull so tiny. This is the first skull and it is definitely one of my favorites. So the next mini skull I have is a miniature Picasso Jasper skull. Some people call it a map stone Jasper. Either way, it is a beautiful material. It looks like marbling done in grays and whites. It is so beautiful. This is what this one looks like up close. What I think is so special about this one is the back of its head is just full crystal and then it has this super cool black outline all the way around. It is just so unique and I love how Picasso translates in a skull carving. I just think it looks really special and unique. So this is definitely one of my favorite little baby skulls. For the next skull that I have, it is a two inch skull and it is a larvikite skull. So I think this stone is super cool. It kind of reminds me of Labradorite, but without the flash. It does have some flash, but it's not quite as colorful. But I just love larvikite. I think it looks really, really cool cool in a skull. This is what the larva kite skull looks like up close. When you look up close it does have some super cool flash right there on the back of the head and it is just so unique. Like look at how gorgeous that flash is and I don't think it has any on its face but it does have a pretty big flash on the back of the head. This is definitely one of my favorite crystal skulls. Next up, we have a moss agate skull. Now, I love moss agate. It can come in a range of colors from white to dark green, light green, blue, purple, red. It is such a beautiful stone and a lot of the times it's translucent, so it does really look like a moss is growing in the rock. It is absolutely stunning, so I am so happy to have some moss agate skulls. So for the first moss agate skull, it is a green with some druzy on the head, but it is really simple. It is white with just some green lines. So you can see right there on the top of the skull, there is the druzy. And then there is another pocket of druzy right here. I just love the lines on the face. I think it makes it look so cool. Just this two color skull. It's kind of spooky. It looks like moss is growing on the skull's face. And next up, I have a, another moss agate skull. So this one is definitely more colorful and has the translucency that I was talking about and I think this one is probably my favorite of the two but I love them both. So with this one right away you can see that translucent crystal and this one has druzy pockets kind of going all over it. This one is definitely one that I was so lucky to come across because it is stunning. 
So for the next skull, it is a crazy lace agate skull. I believe I showed this in one of my videos a while ago. So I'm sure some of you, if you haven't watched any of my $300 crystal hauls, you would have definitely missed this one. What's so unique about crazy lace agate is you can get reds and pinks and yellows and the colors blend together so beautifully. So let's take a look at the crazy lace skull. So if you take a look at the back, you can see all those gorgeous colors colors and patterns, the bright yellow and red. On one side it's gray and then if you flip to the other side you get these huge pops of colors and patterns and the little jersey pockets are absolutely beautiful. So this has just been in my collection for such a long time but it is such a cool piece definitely one of my faves. So the next piece is one of my favorite skulls. It is a Chrysocola skull. I do not own any other Chrysocola except for this because it has been a little bit hard for me to track down but when I saw that there is a skull available I had to have it. I love Chrysocola. I think the color is absolutely gorgeous. It is probably one of my favorite colors. So not only am I drawn to the color, but just how gorgeous the skull is. So let me show you the Chrysocola skull. So if you look at the color, it is this stunning turquoise color. And then when you turn the head, the color gets so much more rich. It is a deep, deep green. So it fades from this beautiful light sea glass shade to this deep green over here and it is stunning and then it has these gorgeous blocks of kind of a rust color like almost like a dark terracotta oh this skull when I saw it I was like that is stunning and the carving of it is absolutely gorgeous it is stunning so I absolutely love the skull I think it is one of my absolute favorites so for the next skull, I am so lucky to get my hands on it. I have wanted a bumblebee jasper skull since forever. And I saw this one and I knew I had to have it. Bumblebee jasper is so rare and so expensive right now. So you would be shocked at what I paid for this, but it was 100% worth it that I have this in my collection. I have wanted it so bad. So let me show you the bumblebee jasper skull. So here is the close-up of the bumblebee jasper skull. Look at that gorgeous yellow color across his face. You can see that they have even added some like little waves to the skull to really mimic a real skull. And then look at that on the back, that gorgeous patterning. I mean, that is stunning. I just love the carving of this. Like the face is so perfect. The colors are perfect. The way the colors are placed on the face is perfect. This is one of my most treasured skulls and this will forever be in my collection. So last but not least in my skull collection is a tiger's eye skull, but not just any tiger's eye skull. It is a blue tiger's eye skull. When I first started collecting crystals, I really didn't like the look of tiger's eye. Some crystals you just don't really like. Like a lot of people say they don't like red jasper. I personally didn't like tiger's eye until I found out that it was really good for Leos and it was really good for creatives, which I am both of. So I started embracing tiger's eye more and started buying it more and I leave it around my desk while I work just to be more inspired. And then I came across blue tiger's eye and I, I am obsessed. <laughs> I love blue tiger's eye. It is one of the most beautiful stones in my personal opinion. So let me show you the blue tiger's eye skull. So hopefully the blue flash will be able to show up. But there you go. Look at that flash. It is absolutely stunning. I like how gorgeous is that blue tiger's eye and you get an insane flash right up on top of the skull. That is gorgeous. So blue tiger's eye doesn't flash everywhere, but it does flash on the face for this one. And then on the back, it just has this insane, like how gorgeous is that? This 
is my favorite skull right now. It is absolutely stunning. I am obsessed with this. Like, how gorgeous is this? So that is all I have for you guys today. That is my full skull crystal collection. You can see how much I love crystal skulls, especially those in the more rare materials. I think it gives a crystal so much personality when it is carved into a skull. I know some people are love it or hate it on the skulls. I am definitely a love it. I love skulls, so I'm looking to add some more skulls. I would love to add a Laramar skull. I would love to add a Rhodochrosite skull. I would love to add a Lapidolite skull. There are so many skulls. A Malachite skull that I am dying to get my hands on. So if anybody out there knows where to get those ones, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed my skull collection. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you all on the next one. Bye! Woo!